Welcome to another exciting edition of Travel Guide. If you are new here consider subscribing. Today we will be visiting the Shedd Aquarium Chicago. There was a lot to look at too, but not so much that you felt overwhelmed, or that you wouldn't have enough time to see everything. With all of the education, rehabilitation, and work they do to ensure the quality of life, you can be sure the paying admission at Shedd is going towards a wonderful institution. You are able to view the ocean wildlife from above the water as well as below the water through large windows. There are so many different sections to visit, some additional exhibits that are free, as well as some that you have to pay for, and seasonal events if you are lucky enough to be there when one is taking place. If you choose, you can easily spend a bulk of the day there, and then wander out, and take in another site, or jump a short cab ride to the pier, and enjoy the rest of your night. Love the Shed. It's always so magical going there every time. A lot of the exhibits are free, with only a few to new exhibits to pay for. The seats look like they're made of stone so it feels like you are sitting on the edge of the lake to watch the show. The aquarium sits right next to the Field Museum so you could park once, and visit both venues in the same day. It's a wonderful experience regardless of age, and they do a good job of engaging the audience during their marine shows. Food at the cafeteria was good enough maybe think mall food court quality, and was expensive for what it was, but not as expensive as some places are. Got in fast, and was able to enjoy a little quiet time in the exhibits before the mess of people got in. Food, parking, and admission was expensive, although when dividing that by the six hours spent it came to about 15 each per hour which doesn't seem as bad. Alinol it wasn't a bad day, although for the price everything should be included shows. 3D experience aka movie, touch the stingray exhibit, etc. was all at extra cost. Many different animals to see, and located in a good location if you have a city pass, and are going to see multiple things. Make sure if you want to see any show that you make your reservations for tickets earlier in the day as they are not first come first serve on site. If you're going to multiple museum sites seeing spots, you should get the city pass because the aquarium is included, and you don't have to wait in the general admission line. There were so many hands and activities, stingray touch pool, sturgeon touch pool, little tablets all around the facility where you could find more information on all the species that were in the tank. So much to see. Definitely put a whole day aside, and take a water taxi over to Navy Pier afterwards for dinner. The exhibits were phenomenal. There is lots to see. Three hours was nowhere near enough. You also get free tickets to a water show, and active military get in free. Good stuff. So although a bit on the expensive side especially for a family of four it's still good to go, and check out. Live performances are the best, and the staff that manages, and conducts live performances are talented. They do care for aquatic life. This place is so fun. Seriously, it's great to go with the family before, or after going to lunch, or dinner. They have exhibit that interest both young, and old with a lot of hands and activities that will interest everyone as well. Amazing. Definitely worth spending a few hours here, and make sure you attend the dolphin show. The place has enough room that it didn't feel crowded, and the variety of animals in each room was wonderful. Great for family trips, girls trips, any kind of trip. Great displays of the animals, fun time if you try not to think about the inhumane idea of caging innocent animals. The food quality is pretty good for their restaurant with an amazing water view. Just expect airport pricing chicken tender and fries, and a Coke will be around 16. Just wondering, and seeing the various exhibits would have been fine, but once you factor everything else in it's such a great way to spend a few hours. There is a cafeteria that serves sandwiches, and snack items places to sit outside by the lake on nice days the aquarium is clean, and well kept. The area in the basement that you walk through a fish tank was pretty awesome. If you can't handle the fish smell don't go here. If you want to watch the dolphin show, Seat yourself a good half an hour early at the amphitheater to ensure that you get a good view. Not necessary that you find the first row in a case you won't be able to see the dolphins clearly over the barrier. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe, and leave your comments below.